Hi guys, welcome to my channel Amy Howard Art. I'm Amy and today's art advice video I am giving you some tips on avoiding burnout. This is a really common problem among artists. We tend to spread ourselves a little bit thin and we tend to take on a lot of work and when that happens we tend to get a little bit frazzled and a little bit burnt out. And this happens to me a fair few times a year. It is something that happens fairly often and I know a lot of other artists as well that suffer from this. So I'm going to give you a few tips on what you can do to kind of try to avoid burnout. Sometimes it is inevitable that it is going to happen, it's just with the pressures of life and the workload and everything. You, sometimes it's just really unavoidable but I'm going to give you some tips which you can undertake to help you to try and limit the amount of times you get burnt out and hopefully try and limit that burnout altogether. So as I said, burnout often occurs when you have a really high workload, when you're under a lot of stress and a lot of pressure. And for me personally, I suffer from burnout when I have a lot of deadlines to work to. If I have a lot going on in my head and I want to create it all, I get a little bit frustrated with myself that I'm not getting it out as quickly and as often as I would like. And then that burnout comes and I just don't want to do anything. I don't want to paint, I don't want to draw, I don't even want to watch the TV sometimes. And then it, I become frustrated with myself because I'm burnt out when I know that I should be creating. And it's kind of like a little bit of a vicious circle. So what we need to do is to not spread ourselves too thin. Don't undertake too much. You need to work out the amount of workload that you can comfortably cope with and you need to stick to that amount. You don't want to just say yes to any kind of work that comes your way because you know it's going to overload yourself and then you're going to get to that burnout stage. So you really need to understand what you are able to work with. So how many commissions or how many clients or anything that you can work with at one time. You need to figure that out and you need to stick to it and you need to try and make sure that you don't undertake too many projects that are going to stress you out, especially if a lot of those have strict deadlines. So this has happened to me. I've undertaken commission work that have specific dates which they need to be out by and when I was taking on the work I didn't realise that the dates were all together and I had to get them out all in sort of one go and there was about five portraits that I needed to get out and I had magazine work, I had an article to write. It was getting really frustrating with all of this work and all of these deadlines all in one go that I was pushing myself too hard and spreading myself too thin and I just wasn't able to handle the amount of work that I had and after I reached the deadlines I did manage to do it and made sure that I pushed myself to do it but after I reached those deadlines I flatlined and I wasn't able to do any art or any drawing or didn't feel like doing anything for a week or so afterwards. So the main culprit with spreading yourself too thin and undertaking too much work is commission work and you need to make sure that you have a strict schedule that you stick to in order to stop that burnout stage and to stop yourself getting too stressed out with the work. Commission work, for me personally as well, is one of the worst for contributing to that burnout and to that stress level. Now sometimes a lot of burnout comes from working on personal projects, as I said with myself, it's the frustration of not getting anything out in the time frame that I wanted to and not getting out enough of those works. And you need to kind of tell yourself that it's okay to prolong your own deadlines. Obviously, if you're working with commission work or clients or anything like that, it's a little bit more difficult to prolong those deadlines. But if you are working on your personal projects and those are what are getting you frustrated that you're not drawing or painting as quickly as you wanted, tell yourself that it's okay to prolong your deadlines and that's really going to help you out as well. You need to sort of clear your mental headspace, you need to get into the right frame of mind and reduce that stress. So you need to tell yourself that it's okay to prolong your personal deadlines in order to maintain a stable frame of mind to prevent that burnout. So another tip is to take breaks from your work. 
not really long breaks like one or two months but take relatively short breaks and take them often and take that step away from your work. So I try and give myself a day or two and this is often at the weekends, a Saturday and a Sunday. I try and make that for family time and I try not to do any work or anything that is art related on those days just so that I have that little bit of distance from my work. And taking breaks from that work is really important if art is your business. Speaking from personal experience, I used to work 24 seven on my art and on my business. And that was really bad for me personally because I needed that little bit of distance away from the business side of art. And I never used to take any breaks. I never used to stop with social media. I was constantly answering emails as soon as they came in and messages on my Facebook page. I didn't really take a break and stop work. And this is something that my husband really, really hates because I still do it not as often but I still do it and he hates it because he can see me getting really stressed out and he can see me working too hard and too often and he knows that that burnout is going to come and it does and for me personally I just need one or two days every week or every other week just to step away from my business and to not do anything art related or business related I just need that time for myself and that time for my family and I think it's really important if you are running your business or if you are doing art all the time that you do take that break because it allows you to refresh your mind I find that if I'm working on a really large piece or something is taking me a really long time that I need that little bit of distance away just to refresh my brain so I can come back to drawing, I can come back to it with a little bit more clarity and a little bit more inspiration and I often perform better with my art and that's really important that you do take those breaks. Another way to prevent burnout is to mix things up, to try new things and as artists I think that that is the best way to grow your creativity, to try different things. So if you're a coloured pencil artist why not try watercolour or pastels or oil painting or any of the other kind of mediums out there and if you're a watercolour artist why not try coloured pencils. It's really important as artists, I think personally, that we should experiment with other mediums and other ways of working. And by mixing it up, you really keep yourself fresh. You really keep yourself inspired, or that's the case for me personally anyway. So that's why I like to do a mixture of color pencil work and watercolors because Every now and then if I'm feeling a little bit sort of, not bored, but a colour pencil piece is a little bit tedious, then I like to switch to the watercolours because it allows me to express some of my stresses of the day and it allows me to express my creativity as well. So I like to mix it up with those colour pencil drawings and those watercolour paintings and it just really keeps my brain fresh, it really keeps me energised, it keeps me inspired and also I just love working with those two mediums and as you would have seen on my channel I like to also dabble with a little bit of pastel and a little bit of pastel pencils and just keeping it fresh like that really freshens your brain and it really does kind of prevent that burnout stage because you're not getting bored with just doing the same thing all the time and then trying new things might seem a little bit scary especially to some of you people who like to stick with the same things all the time but if you are experiencing a lot of burnout, especially if you don't want to try new things and you are one of those people that just sticks within the same sort of area all the time, try something new and see if it helps you with your burnout or your creative juices. So that's pretty much all that I have for you today. Those three ways are the only ways which I personally have tried and succeeded at preventing that burnout. But as I said in the beginning, sometimes burnout is inevitable, especially with the stresses and everything and the technologies in modern day life. Our lives are a lot more stressful and it sometimes it is just inevitable and anything that you do to try and prevent it, it's just going to happen anyway. But try those three things. Those are what have worked for me personally and see how you get on. 
I would really love to know if you guys have any other ways that you think are really good at preventing burnout. If you do have any, then I'd love for you to share them with our little community. So pop them in the comments below. I love reading everything that you guys have to say. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new around here and you like this video and you want to see more art advice, art tutorials and art live streams, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I have popped some more videos, which I think you're going to love just over there. So go and check those out and I will see you in the next video. Bye.